Things are about to get western, boys and girls. We have uh, this going on and that going on. We have a garbage bag out there filled with a bunch of just like random stuff. Um, and I am going to shoot this. I hope this works. Um, turkey season's coming up. We're trying to get dialed in for turkey season. See that hits my sight. So we're gonna rotate that. Probably isn't better. We're gonna have to do this. Learning on the fly here. Um, we just got these. Uh, what are they? Bull Magnus stuff. Magnus bullhead. Magnus bullhead. You actually can pick these up at Lancaster Archery Supply if you are looking to shoot some turkeys in the face, like I am this year. Um, we are gonna bring this bar all the way in though, so we don't have any hit hitting issues. I'm just going to do that. <clears throat> so that's going to probably shoot a little high now. That should solve all of our issues. Um, yes, these veins are ginormous. They are flu-flu feathers, but I want maximum steerage with this. And even though it looks like we're having all sorts of contact issues, these feathers are so light that it's just going to coast right by and just smash and everything. So we have a hay bale blind supporting the bag down there. And it is windy and snowing and about 20 degrees outside. And the door is shutting. My bag settles down, we can shoot. Oh, that's okay, I think. <laughs> that worked. How'd that look? It looks fine. Not I bad. Hmm. Yeah. It buried in it. I don't know how we're getting it. Are we gonna push it through? No. This is not an ideal situation. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's cold. Dude, it's really cold. I really hope next week it's not this bad. And we're still in great shape. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to secure this bag better so I can actually aim. Um, aim at it, put a little dot, and then we're gonna get sighted in with this. 125 grains in the front. Wow, that's one side. Wow. Jeez. Safe and sound. 125 grains in the front. We got big flu flus. Um, these are the only arrows I have on me. They're 340 spine, which is probably a little weak, but I think it'll be fine. It might turn down my poundage a little bit. But yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. I think this is actually gonna shoot some turkeys right in the face, hopefully, in just like a week. We need more paracord. Have the uh, the bag secured. No pun intended down there. We have a little orange redding dot, and we are gonna get sighted in. Hopefully it doesn't take too many. I guess I should probably see how far this is. 13 yards. Oh, our bag is, oh my gosh. Doing stuff in the wind is not ideal today. Our dot is about to freaking fly away in the wind. Oh, don't do it. Oh, I'm gonna go secure that better, hold on. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, it is a big mail day. We got a package in from Lancaster Archery Supply. This is actually um, a very cool product. It's not necessarily an archery product, but it uh, goes along with the season we're in. So uh, I have messed around with one a little bit before. Um, it's really exciting, especially for all you turkey hunters. This is the all new. Wow, that 
opened up nicely. This is the all new Equinox Turkey Vest from uh, Sika Gear. And uh, as you guys know or might not know, Lancaster Archery actually has a ton of Sika Gear in stock all the time. So if you are, and that's actually kind of tough to come by, is checking out stuff in person, all of the Sika Gear stuff. Um, so if you're close to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, for all you locals, make sure to check that out. Um, but this is actually um, is really cool because Sika Gear is getting into the turkey gear. It's finally, finally time. It's like, it was just a matter of time until they fully committed into all the turkey stuff. But this is actually very well thought out. Like all Sika Gear products, this isn't like a pitch or anything, but if anyone has ever worn Sika or has like anything of Sika, it's not just like random clothing put together. Everything has a purpose um, in it. It's, it's, it's well thought out always. Um, so getting in, this is how you clip in. There's these cool um, little snap buckles that I've never seen before until this turkey vest. Um, and then kind of rolling into it, they have it all very well thought out for calls. So this is actually a magnetic uh, slate call pouch. And then you also have a bunch of little slots right here for all of your mouth calls. Um, another additional thing there, so it's boom. It also looks 100% waterproof with the seal. They have like a tight little seal on that. So that's actually really convenient. I'm always like fumbling around for calls um, or they get like loose, you forget to zip up a pocket, but that's just, look how easy that is. Super easy. Uh, over here we have a box call holder um, and I'll show you I actually have a vest that's already all rigged out with calls but I'll show you in a second uh, this is for like a striker um, you got another pouch over here all magnetic everything's magnetic and it's quiet it's not like a like some magnets are it's nice and quiet which is very very dope this is a little tiny pocket I don't know what that would be for maybe another striker something um, and then if you unclip it, come around on the back side, it's a backpack incorporated in one. So you actually have a full functioning backpack. Really big deep pocket right there. There's a bladder pocket. Little pocket for keys or tags or whatever. Actually have orange. So if you're done hunting or whatever and you shot a turkey and you're packing it out you can flip some orange out just to be safe um, looks like we have if you want to attach um, like a um, like a coat or something on the side here and also allows for that to expand if you unclip those really it's 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 tight to you so like if you don't have this full it's not gonna feel like a backpack but you can fill it up and then it feels like a backpack, if that makes sense. Because sometimes you have like all day turkey hunts, sometimes you just have morning turkey hunts. And then we have a butt pad, of course, which actually is a really thick one. Um, and it swings up if out of your way if you're walking around or whatever. But a super streamlined turkey vest. I'm jacked about this because I had a turkey vest and it was really expensive and kind of junky, really big and bulky. But this is super streamlined. Really excited, really excited to upgrade from the one I got from last year. So this is the one I got a little bit ago um, that actually got um, rigged out with calls. And I forgot to mention this, there are pockets on the inside. So this is probably where you would store your tags, everything like that. Um, but I got this one loaded up with some calls. So you can see that's kind of like mouth calls fit in there. Uh, your slate call fits in there. And then boom, you pull this open. And uh, these are actually some cool custom Sitka calls from uh, David Holleran Turkey Calls. Kind of a cool collab, but. Pretty cool. Excited to try this call out. But anyways, fits right in there, super easy. I mean, boom, boom, and you're locked and loaded. No zip in pockets or anything, it's just magnets. Just like that. So in here we got, Shows how a box call goes in there, super nice and easy. Um, this is actually, I got chalk in there for the box call. So really thought out. And when you're turkey hunting, if anyone knows and has turkey hunted before, you're always like fumbling around with your calls. 
and they actually like hold together really nice and not rubbing against each other. Sometimes it's like a catch-all pocket and you throw all your stuff in. But anyways, I am looking forward to using this this spring as an upgrade to my turkey vest. And what we were, might do and we would try to do is actually ambush some turkeys with the bow from the ground. I'm not sure if we're going to do that or not, but really cool product coming from Sikki Gear available at LancasterArcherySupply.com. Okay. This thing is just a mess. All right, 13 yards. Let's see how close we are. That blew right through it. <laughs> blew right through it, it hit this right here. Oh, that's good. Nice little nick in there. Nice. Blades busted. Blades are busted. No, they're not. Just Check back. this out. It's just folded. See how that's just folded like that? I don't even know if it's bent. I think I can just loosen that little screw right there, flip it back up. Arrow's fine. I kind of like that. That's a good feature. Dot flew off. That's where I went in. I went left. Way left. That's why I just barely went through. Huh. Okay, well, let's move our sight. Okay, we fixed our left and right problem. Uh, I changed the second axis on it um, and forgot to move my sight back over. So that was the problem. Uh, the blade is a little jacked, but instead of uh, ruining another one, we're just gonna see if we can get practice and sighted in with this one. I think it'll be fine. Um, I do need to go put a new, um, a new date, dot on, dot, date, dot, wow. Okay, we're figuring it out slowly. Um, we have the bag secured, secured. We have the hole that I shot the first time. I'm just gonna aim right there. I kind of reorganized the, the innards of it. Hopefully we don't get a pass through, and we'll be good. I mean, it looks close. I think it was a little high. Wonder if we could put, do you think we could shoot at like a piece of cardboard in front of that to get like a hard, which way we went, left, right, or whatever? Probably, as long as you could secure it. Right, multi-purpose. Something like that, should be good. How are we gonna secure this back? Tape. One step closer. We now have an upgraded target. Every end is kind of fun. We get like a new Jeopardy round of a better target. So we have a little dot down there, a little thin piece of cardboard in front of it. 13 yards, which is like 10, 13 yards is probably where we're gonna put the decoys and hopefully they come right up. I'll probably do like one shot at five yards and one shot at 15, but if they're not right there, probably won't shoot them. Ooh. See, I think that one flew wildly goofy. We probably need to get a new broadhead. These are the good scissors. Whoa! What we're gonna do do some custom fletching. I think I was thinking this would probably be a good idea, but I'm just going to kind of trim these a little bit, especially the front. Custom. This is fun. I might do this with uh, more arrows. It's like arts and crafts. Arts and crafts time. We like start playing some arts and crafts time, crispy. Some cartoon music, arts and crafts. 
This actually I think will be better. We still got the height of the vein, but in the length of the vein, just give us a little bit better clearance, especially in the front half. Custom. Let's get a new one. We only have six of these bad boys, so hopefully we don't have to go through too many, too many more. Um, I think we're really close. That blade just got busted when it hit that aluminum. We were trying to make it work, and uh, I think it's messing with our flight. Let's try it. Okay, not bad, a little right. That's way better shooting out a little piece of cardboard so we can actually see it. I think smashing the aluminum. Yeah, that's what it is. Messed it up. <laughs> and this, I mean, just this cardboard in this bag, I mean, it should be fine. Same spot. Really cranked on it. We're only at 10 yards. It takes a lot to move an arrow left and right at 10. Okay, so what's actually cool is like this arrow did hit to the right, but one of the blades sliced right through the uh, the orange dot. See how like the orange dot is cut off on the bottom end? So we're right there. Perfect. I think that was good. And the dot knocked off. I mean, I think that was it right there. I think that's good. Where did the dot go? Maybe, maybe it got pushed inside. Uh, I'm going to come aim at this now. I'm going to drag this just a little bit closer, aim at that and see where we're at. That's 10. I will probably put the decoy at 10 yards in hopes to get um, you know, a turkey beating it up right at 10 yards. That would be perfect. Aiming for that white spot. Hit it perfect. So I think we're good. How does the arrow flight look? Does it look good? Can you tell? I can't really tell. No. no. I mean, that, that was impact right there. There's one blade, another blade. So I mean, that's perfect. Floaties. I know. <coughs> we just cleaned out the shop the other day. We gotta bring all this to a dumpster. Um, actually, I wanna shoot 15 yards. We've done 10, 13. If we can do 15, I'll feel, I'll feel good and confident. Okay, 18. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I mean, if it hits at 18, it's gonna hit at 15. Yeah. I've been shooting with the blade upwards so it doesn't accidentally snag my finger on the shot. Um, and it's, it's clearing the scope and everything just fine. Okay. That was just left, but that might have been the wind. I watched it like kind of do something weird. Now <laughs> the wind is just whipping the hat over the wind. But height is good. So I'm comfortable. 10 yards, ideal. 13 yards, money, anything, you know, 15 and on. It's just gonna have to be a, like a good shot. The arrows are really slow. Um, just because of that giant head on the front and the big fletchings. I think we're good though. What do you think, Riley? Gucci. Gucci. Well, there's still time. Make sure to snag any of your turkey needs over at Lancaster Archer Supply, a brand new Sitka 
vest equinox series super dope super awesome if you're needing an upgrade on turkey vest this is probably the last turkey vest you'll ever need um along with i'm really excited to try these out um i've never really shot i've never shot a turkey in the head um and this year i really want to because it's it's a kill it or don't kill it situation compared to shooting them in the body with a broadhead you know historically a lot of hunters and including myself you know sometimes you hit them in the breast you can wound them and everything so i'm really hoping that that eliminates any sort of wounding of turkeys with the bow just straight for the head um knock them out chop it off whatever straight kill shot similar to what a shotgun is going to be so really looking forward to it we have iowa turkey season coming up we have michigan turkey season coming up a lot of good turkey videos coming you guys way hopefully we can get some some sweet stuff and have some good times with friends so um make sure to check it out link has to supply.com